As we're coming up on WoW's 20th anniversary, we're likely soon beginning to see the chronic health effects on those who grinded this thing out in vanilla. In order to honor these heroes, I remade the Grand Marshal's Claymore. Starting off, I laid myself some groundwork for the blade, getting it to the point where I can establish a silhouette. Next, I would lay a foundation for the little lion shield thingy that sits at the base of it. I did a quick test run redoing this weapon many months ago, but I sucked a lot more, so it sucked a lot. But I'm going back in for round two. The part of this weapon that is particularly tricky is the crossguard. The original is hard to read, since it was made in 2004 and tended to be seen from afar on a monitor the resolution of my oven clock. There are ways in which you can interpret the design beyond the obvious yellow frog fella sticking his blue tongue out, but I wanted to take some liberty and experiment a little bit with different ways to approach it. This weapon is Alliance, and I am an original, so I first tried this sort of wing look, while still trying to stick to the same silhouette. Kind of. Sort of. I liked it, but then I didn't like it anymore, and I changed it to something a bit more simple, and closer to the original. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank everyone for the amazing response to my judgement video. I passed 200k views for the first time ever, and got over 10,000 subscribers from it, which is kind of nuts. I went a little bit extra on that video, because it's judgement, and seeing how much you guys liked it was worth every minute spent, 10 times over, so big thank you. If you haven't seen it yet, finish this video and then go and watch that one. Also, while I'm on it, if you want to support the stuff I do here on the channel, you'd help me out a ton by dropping a like, leaving a comment, and blessing me with your subscription. If you really want to support me, I also have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Fun stuff. And that takes us to UV unwrapping, which is nice and easy, because it's just a weapon with just one texture file, rather than the six separate textures for judgment. Also, no rigging. Fuck me dead, it's Christmas. And with the first stages done, my nifty little model ended up looking something like this. On to the hard part. Texture painting this beautiful plank was intimidating. Yes, same shit I did in my previous videos, but I've never hand painted a weapon before. What's so special about weapons? Nothing. But I showed them from very close in my videos, so any level of garbage would be right in your face. And you get enough of that with my cam footage. And for anyone wondering, I don't actually practice this at all in between videos. So anytime I start painting a new model, it's been a while since the last time I did it, because the video making takes way more time than the art. So I did what every man in his mid-twenties does when faced with anxiety. I listened to Joe Rogan, killed my inner bitch, and talked myself into preemptively accepting failure. My first major challenge presented itself in the form of these decorations on a blade. I initially went for a 3D version, but pretty soon into painting them, I realized I was gonna go a different way, and abandoned them like WoW's riders abandoned Silithus. A similarly difficult task was the lion head on the shield bit. Whilst trying to fit it onto this little thing, it dawned on me why the original looks the way it does. I don't want to make fun of it, because I think it was born like that. And like I said, I have far too much ammo hanging over my own head to throw stones in that glass house. Anyway. I want to keep on doing big projects, because it's awesome. But I want to upload more. Right now, I think that my online presence is that of an artist more so than a content creator. And I don't want to just be that guy that shows up once a month to drop an artwork, only to disappear again. Long story short, I want to make more content. Again, I want to keep doing these heavier videos like the Judgment one. But I also want to have quicker types of videos that I can do like this one. As well as get into streaming and think of other types of content that I can add to the mix. As I optimize the format for these faster bits, I want to make sure that I preserve the elements that you guys appreciate the most. For that reason, I would love if you let me know which things you find most enjoyable and which things you find most redundant. Do you like the commentary? Do you enjoy just watching the footage of me doing art? Do you mostly watch for the end result? Etc. Anything from more general to more specific details, I would love to hear it all. Literally any input I can get would be super helpful. I also use Twitter for this kind of stuff as well, so follow me there. Special thank you to my awesome new patrons, and I am absolutely blown away how many of you there are. Uranix, Hoku, Raiho Kuriyami, Sephirian, Tracy Hodgson, The Danish One, Jeffrey Nichols, Zan, Barnon, Tombo Jimbo, Stephanie P, Crane, Crabane from Dunland, Elise, Keegan Zemper, Painsicles, Harriser, Jason Hoops, Frog Boy, Juan Carlos Rodriguez, Noxon, Murphy, Willow Jane, Nick Gumbel, San Santa, Luis Rosa, Arlenthian, Rotor Salsa, and Mimiaga. To everybody who supports me, massive, massive thank you. 